What's up guys in the works and yes we are looking at the recon loadout today and this is the second episode of my Battlefield 3 close quarters loadouts where I look at each individual class and tell you what loadout I like to use best. Now we already did the assault class with the AEK and today we're doing the recon and I know a lot of you guys are probably shocked right now. You're like where is the M417? You know I totally expected you to use the M417. I, I I just cannot believe this. And yes, I did not choose the M417. Rather, I chose the SKS. And I fooled around in close quarters for about, you know, five or six hours yesterday trying to figure out, you know, what is the best recon loadout for close quarters? Is it going to be, you know, the SVD, the MK11 mod, one of those semi autos? Or is it going to be the SKS, you know, or is it going to be the M417? And I know a lot of you guys probably expected to see the M417, but in my test, in my personal opinion, I feel like the SKS performs better. Now, it doesn't have the one-shot potential of the M417, and if you consider yourself, you know, ultimately accurate, you know, you never miss a shot, and you always get headshots, M417 is probably going to be a better choice because, you know, if you've got that aimbot-esque aim, you can probably do a lot better with the M417. However, if you find yourself getting a lot of, you know, two and three shots with the M417, the SKS is the way to go because it is a substantially amount faster um, far as fire rate goes. It does uh, have less recoil, so it you can be on target almost instantly. You know, I run it with foregrip, and, oh, if you didn't know, you can peek through here and catch people capping flags. I've killed many of players doing that, so there's a little pro tip for you. Um, but the SKS, to me, just outguns a lot of the fully auto weapons because it is a two-shot kill. You know, it can be a three... It will be a two-shot kill if you get a headshot. It is usually a three-shot kill. Let me clarify there. That way I don't confuse people. Um, but if you do get one headshot, it can be a two-shot kill. So it is a very effective weapon. It does get the job done up close. Um, and it's very spammable. And I think that's important in close quarters. Because when you use a semi-auto like this or you know any of the other semi-auto snipers, and I don't really consider the SKS a sniper, but it's more so a recon weapon than, you know let's say, one of the PDWs or even like a uh, shotgun, which you see a lot of people running around with. But it's very spammable. And that's important. Because when you get caught off guard in close quarters, you're either A, screwed, or B, you know, gonna get lucky with a headshot, and the SKS is spammable and it's going to save you. And I think a lot of people need to appreciate that in close quarters. I mean, that's just how this game, these uh, maps play out. I mean, that's just the nature of close quarters combat. So you want something that's going to save you when you're caught off guard, when you know you rush around that corner, and there stands a guy in the corner. The SKS has very good hip fire. It's very spammable. You're going to get you know those kills that you desire. So if you're looking for some attachments for this, I usually run foregrip as a rule just to make it have no you know side to side movement whatsoever. I mean it has such low recoil that the foregrip does help kind of reduce that. A lot of people like to run foregrip and flash suppressor, and it makes it pretty much you know recoilless. So if that's your cup of tea, by all means do it. I like to run laser. Um, in these clips you've seen, I've used two different things. I've used flash suppressor with foregrip, I've used foregrip with laser sight, and I've used just um, laser sight. And I've fooled around with all of them. I think my favorite loadout is easily the foregrip with laser sight. However, flash suppressor is very effective if you want to go that route. Um, but it isn't really that good at longer ranges, but that doesn't really come into play in maps like this unless you're looking at some really long lines of sight. But Overall, I think this is the best recon loadout, in my opinion. I think that it gets the job done better than anything you could use, you know, other than maybe like a PDW, maybe other than like a shotgun, because obviously those can go on any classes. Whereas the SKS, it's not really a sniper rifle, but it is a little bit more specialized than some of the other all-purpose weapons, because it can reach out if you need to. You can still get, you know, two, three-shot kills at extreme long ranges, which... Um, not too many weapons in the game can say that uh, they can do that because even at some ranges the M417 is going to be a three bullet kill so the SKS can stand toe to toe with it I mean I do enjoy its rate of fire I do enjoy everything about it so try it out I don't think you'll be disappointed this is a weapon that you know I've done underused weapons on this and a lot of people disagree that it's underused but I haven't seen honestly I don't see a lot of people use this Sometimes you'll run into, you know, a server just full of SKSs, then you might go an entire week without seeing a single one. So, um, it may not be the world's most popular weapon, but it definitely is a very effective weapon. A lot of people see this weapon as being, quote, overpowered. I disagree with that. I think it's nice and balanced because, you know, like I said, you don't see a lot of people who rely on the semi-auto uh, variant weapons in this game. Most people like to lean against their fully auto weapons. But, you know, try this out. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a really good loadout for close quarters, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.